the U.S. Navy is at a critical juncture in deciding the direction of its future investments. Historically, aircraft carriers have been the cornerstone of the Navy's force projection. But new emerging threats and evolving warfare technologies, such as submarines and cyber warfare, are challenging their dominance. The debate centers on which platform offers the most strategic value in an era of rapidly advancing military technology. 1. Aircraft Carriers – Power Projection at Sea Aircraft carriers are seen as symbols of U.S. naval strength, offering unparalleled power projection across the globe. They provide the capability to launch air strikes from international waters, which makes them a vital tool in both wartime and in exerting geopolitical influence. The Ford-class carriers, for instance, are the largest and most advanced carriers, boasting cutting-edge technologies for air operations and enhanced survivability. However, there are growing concerns regarding their survivability in modern combat scenarios. Key issues raised by critics include the increasing vulnerability of carriers to modern missile systems, such as Chinese and Russian hypersonic missiles. These weapons can potentially penetrate the carrier's defensive systems, making them sitting ducks in certain contested waters. Additionally, the massive cost of building and maintaining these carriers, over $12 billion per ship, has led some experts to question whether they remain the best use of military resources. 2. Submarines, Stealth and Lethality Submarines, particularly nuclear-powered ones, offer an alternative form of naval power. Unlike aircraft carriers, submarines can operate undetected in hostile environments, providing both offensive and defensive capabilities. They are integral to the U.S. nuclear deterrent strategy, as ballistic missile submarines SSBNs, serve as mobile, nearly undetectable launch platforms for nuclear weapons. Attack submarines SSNs, on the other hand, are capable of sinking enemy ships, including aircraft carriers, as demonstrated in World War II and beyond. Submarines have the advantage of stealth, allowing them to perform intelligence gathering, reconnaissance, and covered operations deep within enemy territory. Additionally, they are harder to detect and more cost-effective compared to carriers. However, they also have limitations, such as difficulties in resupply, limited endurance for crew, and the need for specialized maintenance. 3. Cyber Warfare – The New Battlefield Cyber warfare is another area where the U.S. Navy is expanding its focus. With the digitization of global military infrastructure, the importance of cyber capabilities has grown exponentially. Cyber warfare can disrupt enemy communications, disable critical infrastructure, and even cripple military assets like aircraft carriers and submarines. The Navy has recognized this and is heavily investing in its cyber capabilities to ensure it can both defend against and launch cyber attacks. Supporters of increasing cyber warfare investment argue that future conflicts will likely involve less traditional naval battles and more high-tech electronic warfare. With the rise of autonomous systems, drones, and AI, the battlefield is shifting from physical dominance to digital superiority. A strong cyber warfare capability may even offset some of the vulnerabilities of traditional platforms like carriers. Balancing Investments – The Way Forward Ultimately, the debate is not about completely replacing one system with another, but about finding the right balance of investment across these different domains. Some military strategists argue that the U.S. should maintain its carrier fleet while simultaneously increasing investments in submarines and cyber warfare capabilities. This approach would allow the Navy to remain flexible and adaptable to future threats. In conclusion, while aircraft carriers continue to provide significant strategic value, their high cost and growing vulnerability to modern missile systems have sparked debates about their future relevance. Submarines offer stealth and lethality, particularly in nuclear deterrence, while cyber warfare represents the cutting edge of future conflicts. The decision facing the U.S. Navy is how to balance these investments to maintain its dominance in an increasingly complex global security environment.